Yeah, the only thing though is that they are taking the ing out of parking and just leaving park. I mean, a lot of this is uh, one is to raise awareness, and two, uh, you guys are also raising funds for the Trust for Public Land. No, no, is this important to you guys as as a company, as an organization? Yes, it aligns what our philosophies are as well as um, Trust for Public Lands. Well, now, now, how, how long, give me some background on this. Uh, where did it start? How long has it been going on? Uh, Park National Parking Day started about seven years ago um, in San Francisco between the Kempton Hotels and um, the Trust for Public Lands. Okay, so now I thought it was like a trick, like this was all you're going to do is just put grass out and call it a park. Because there are some parks out there like yeah. right now, but I, I'm looking around. You guys got a bunch of busy bodies. You're really going to make it a, a park, like a park. Yes. We will be transforming um, this by bringing in benches, trees, and... Well, you know, people like, also use parks, right? Are you going to do other stuff? Like, are yeah. they going to be able to use it? We'll be out here doing yoga, hula hooping, a little cornhole, um, <laughs> having a great time partying in the park today. All right. Uh, we'll put pictures and videos on our website. More information about National Parking Day because you missed it. It's really easy to learn and find out more information. All you have to do is go to fox13now.com. When we come back, you'll see the entire transformation and what it looks like to have a park on the streets of Salt Lake City in front of Hotel Monaco.